Then Donald Trump. He leads the Republican field with 24 percent. Jeb Bush second, 13 percent. Then Ben Carson, nine. Marco Rubio, eight. Scott Walker, eight. That is a jump of six points since July for Mr. Trump, five points for Dr. Carson. However, the Wall Street Journal editorialized today against Trump's immigration plan, which would mass deport illegal aliens. The journal saying, quote, the last time Republicans tried this, in the 1920s, they alienated immigrant groups like the Irish and the Italians for decades until Ronald Reagan won them back. If they want to lose in 2016, they'll follow Mr. Trump's anti-immigrant siren. Joining us now from his headquarters here in New York City is Mr. Trump. So the journal says you're killing the Republican Party over immigration. And you say? We have to bring our country back, Bill. We're in big trouble. We're losing so much. We're losing so much to so many. And we have to bring our country back. We have at least 11 million illegals in the country. Not only the jobs they're taking, but everything else. And you know about the crime wave, because I think probably nobody has covered the crime wave better than you. There is a literal crime wave going on. You know, and if you look, we've spent last year $113 billion on illegal immigrants. We have to do something about it, and we have to start by building a wall, a big, beautiful, powerful wall. It can have a gate. It can have a door. We'll let people in legally, but we have to stop okay. what's happening to our country because we're losing our country. Now, I want to advance the dialogue here. The strongest part of your immigration plan, in my opinion, is the wall. I think it's a doable uh, thing. Rudy Giuliani came in here, and, and, and you can do it. And that would cut down a lot of the illegal immigration, and not only that, the drug trafficking, which is out of control. So I support the wall. But then you say, well, we got to have mass deportations. That's not going to happen, because the 14th Amendment says if you're born here, you're an American, and you can't kick Americans out. And then if you wanted to deport the people already here, each and every one are entitled to due process. And it would take decades to do that and gazillions of dollars. And the courts would block you at every turn. You must know all that. Bill, I think you're wrong about the 14th Amendment, and frankly, the whole thing with anchor babies and the concept of anchor babies, I don't think you're right about that. I, I think can it's quote it. You want me to quote you the amendment? If you're born here, you're an American. Period. Period. But there are many lawyers, many lawyers are saying that's not the way it is in terms of this. What happens is they're in Mexico, they're going to have a baby, they uh, move everybody over here for that. a couple of days, they have the baby. No, but Bill, they're saying it's not going to hold up in court. Now it's going to have to be tested, but they say it's not going to hold up in court. Regardless, when people are illegally in the country, they have to go. Now the good ones, and there are plenty of good ones, will work it so it's expedited. We can expedite it where they come back in, but they come back legally. Bill, we have a country. You need borders and you need I, law. Uh, I we said that no for law. decades I've been saying that, but you are not going to be able to deport people who have American citizenship now, and the federal courts will never allow mass deportations without due process for each and every one. And do you envision federal police kicking in the doors in, in barrios around the country, dragging families out and putting them on a bus? Do you envision that? Bill, I, I don't think they have American citizenship. And if you speak to some very, very good lawyers, and I know right. some would disagree, but many of them agree with me, you're going to find they do not have American citizenship. We have to start a process where we take back our country. Our country is going to hell. We have to start a process, Bill, where we take back our country. Now, there is a way to do it, and that is to try to get the Constitution amended. Do you know how to do that? It's a long process, and I think it would take too long. I'd much rather find out whether or not anchor babies are actually citizens. All right, because you can a lot test it. Why don't you test it out? Why don't you have your guys file We're going federal to test suit it now? Out. You should do it tomorrow. We're going to test it out. That's right. going to happen, Bill. Now, the uh, Wall Street Journal basically says, look, in the fields of California, there are food rotting because we can't get Americans to go in at $17 an hour plus benefits, by the way and pick the fruit and pick the vegetables in California. So you need the illegal labor in there. I don't think you need illegal labor. I think you need legal labor. And I would make it much more, much easier to get legal people in here to do that work if they I wanted to. I agree with that. Okay, you agree. agree. Good, I'm good. Absolutely. Now, the journal also that. says that Hispanic Americans are gonna turn away from the Republican Party in droves because of you, even if, they, even if you don't win, they're gonna hate the Republican Party. What do you say to that?
So in Nevada, they just did a poll. I'm leading in every state, virtually every state that they've polled. And in Nevada, they just did a major poll where I'm not only leading by big numbers, but I also won the Hispanic vote. And I've been saying I'm going to win the Hispanic vote. And the reason I'm going to is I'm going to bring jobs back. I'm going to bring jobs back from China, from Japan, from all of these places, including Mexico, by the way, which is really taking advantage of the United States, both on the border and from the standpoint of trade. So I'll be bringing jobs back. Bill. Nobody else can do it like me. In fact, in this same poll, they had me blowing away the competition when it comes to the economy, which is a very big factor. Okay. Now, you, in order to be president, are going to have to win over a sizable amount of the so-called independent voters, not registered Republicans. Okay? You know that, right? Because all the polls I now are based 100%. on Republican-leaning voters, and now you're going to have to go out. All right. Are you going to modify it a little bit, or are you going to go out with the scorch and burn tactics you've used so far? Well, if you look what happened last time with Romney, I mean, they say he didn't do well with the Hispanics, but the truth is he didn't do well with the Republicans. They, they sat home and they didn't go out and vote. They had no incentive to vote. If you look at the polls that are coming out on me, they have a great incentive to vote. They like what I say. I think they like me in a certain way, which is nice. It's always nice to be liked. but. They have a great incentive to come out and vote for me because we're going to make America great again. Romney never said that. And unfortunately, tremendous millions and millions of people sat home, Bill, and didn't vote. No, they will million. come out and vote. We're going to energize the base. All right. All right. Fair yeah, but interview. If they voted, that would have been a big difference. Fair interview tonight? Fair? Say it again. Was this fair? This interview fair? Uh, you're always fair. All right. So you're not going to whine about Fox News fair. now. I'm not going to get. You know, O'Reilly this. You're not going to do that, right? I promise. I think you're terrific. I watch you all <laughs> yeah. the time, and I Don't thought you think were I'm very terrific. fair tonight. Don't hey, think I'm I terrific. I was expecting that's, the worst. That's not good for me, all right? And I'm worried if you're president, I'll get deported, all right? That's what no, I'm worried about. you'll never be. We'll, we'll, we're going to try like hell to keep you here, Bill. All but right. you've always been fair, and I appreciate all it. Right. Thank Donald you. Donald Trump, everybody. There he is. Factor tip of the day.